morning show. We've got the stars of North Square, Ruth Miller and Phil Davis in the house. Oh, yeah. No, 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 wait, other Jasmine things. Lowe's. We'll do that afterwards. This is me, Mr. Wayne Hemingway's in the house. Jasmine Lowe's with the big breakfast. Well, Wayne Hemingway! Wayne! Wayne. Good morning. These are the main stories on Wednesday, the 22nd of November. Al Gore lives to fight another day. Pony Girl smack Ali G. And a backstreet boy goes solo. Vice President Al Gore has been given a shot at the White House. Florida's Supreme Court has ruled hand-counted ballots must be included in the final tally. The final count is due on Sunday. Gore trails Republican candidate George W. Bush by 900 votes. The court has consistently held that the right of the people to cast their vote is the paramount concern overriding all others. The government insists there's no need for a ban on French beef, despite a warning from the Ministry of Agriculture. Meanwhile, EU agriculture ministers have agreed to screen millions of cows across Europe. Airlines will today begin issuing health warnings on tickets for long-haul flights. It's thought passengers in cramped conditions risk developing potentially fatal blood clots in the legs. It comes as the House of Lords unveils a report into the condition. Channel 4's Smack the Pony rode out of the International Emmy Awards with one of the top gongs. The all-women comedy sketch show won the Popular Arts Emmy at a glitzy New York ceremony. They threw off competition from their stablemate, Ali G. Female fans of the Backstreet Boys will be celebrating the news that Nick Carter is now single. He confirmed the rumour during their 100-hour Around the World promotional tour, which just wound up in New York. Needless to say, the lads are a little tuckered out. Here's the sport. Capitalism may have finally killed rugby union. The entire England squad is on strike, demanding a bigger share of profits. No one's expected at training this morning ahead of Saturday's game with Argentina. Manchester United topped their Champions League second stage group thanks to a Paul Scholes double strike over the Greek side Panathinaikos. He clinched a 3-1 victory with goals in the 81st and 90th minutes. That's the Big Breakfast News.